Hello, and in this tutorial, we're going to be highlighting a Windows program you can download called Monosnap. Now, Monosnap is a way to do screenshots, but to do a little more than just something you could do with the snipping tool, you can actually add text and arrows and help explain how to do something. Um, now, there is also a Mac version, because today we're looking at the Windows one. Uh, you can watch my Mac version of the tutorial if you go to my website, cowan.rocks or look for my other YouTube video that explains how to use it. Now, to download Monosnap, all you have to do is click this button. It downloads a little file that you can install and it walks you through very easily how to do so. Once you have it installed, it's gonna show up in your system tray, which is down here, and it looks like the little lightning bolt. Now, to kind of give you an example of how you could use this, here's a website I have students use called Volkeroo. Volkeroo is a way for students to make little podcasts or audio uh, and then turn it into me in a pretty easy way. But sometimes they get confused about exactly how to do that. So instead of explaining to them over and over how to do it, I could do a screenshot and explain to them there. Now, what I would do is I'd come down and click my little mono snap icon. I could say I want to capture a certain area because maybe I don't want to capture my taskbar because I don't want kids get confused if they're using a Chromebook or other device um, that maybe doesn't have my Windows taskbar on it. So I can just drag a little selection here. That comes in and now I have a work area. So there's a couple different tools that you can do down here. You can change colors, you can change the size, there's like arrows and boxes, um, but there's also this really arrow with a text, which is pretty handy. So if I drag this down, I can drag it down to the URL. I can say uh, copy this URL and turn in using Google Classroom. So they'll know that's the URL they need to attach to their assignment. Now there's other options in here. I could come down and maybe I want to make a box. I want to highlight for them that they could download their audio recording. And maybe I make this a different color. So let's maybe do, how about yellow? So I can make a little yellow box. That comes on there. Now I can add some text. Maybe I put that over here. Use these links to download your audio. And maybe I just connect this with a little line. And lastly, maybe I want to just kind of highlight. Maybe I do a little circle and I'll kind of maybe do a, how about gray? I can draw a little circle on this and I'll add some text. Uh, click delete now to erase. So they can get rid of the whole audio sample. So I can type in my instructions for students. I can have that in my screenshot, add it on. And then all I have to do is hit save. It'll ask me where I want to save it. Now I have a Monosnap uh, folder that I made in my pictures. So I'm just going to save it right there. And what it looks like then is if I go into my Monosnap folder right here, I can see my little image will open up. So I could put this on my website. I could put it in a Google Doc, a Word document, um, Google Classroom, so students can see easily how to turn in their Volkeru. So Monosnap, a very easy program to use, very beneficial, and lots of great ways you can use it. I hope you enjoyed watching and that you find this tool helpful.